right so today I decided to make steamed fish and I'm going to use all natural ingredients these are all the ingredients I will be using to steam the fish okra onion celery fever grass also known as lemongrass carrots thyme and scallion sweet pepper all the ingredients on this white sauce are the onion the garlic the ginger or the pimento otherwise called the peppercorn and the turmeric all these I will be sauteing in butter so that we can extract the flavors to cook the fish and of course we have the national water crackers which we're going to pair the steamed fish with when I'm steaming fish one of the things that comes to mind is water crackers and so I choose to pair the steamed fish with the water fish crackers it's already scaled clean and is ready for seasoning both of them so we're going to cut the sides you don't have to do this but I want it to marinate fast so I'm going to cut both sides okay. and put some salt in in the sides and inside the belly Also, I'm going to add a little turmeric, just a little turmeric, and a little ginger. I went ahead and put some vinegar on it. You can also use lime juice, lemon, or lime to get rid of the rawness. same procedure with this one these are the, the leaves of celery so we're going to use it to stuff inside and celery gives a very nice flavor and we're putting a little salt on the outside you do not want to use so much salt you don't have to you use it to your taste and we're going to leave it to soak for one we'll be using only natural ingredients so the first thing that we are going to do is to put on the water stove to boil this is about one and a half cups of water this is being done to prevent the changing of the cooking temperature. This is two tablespoons of unsalted butter being melted. When the butter is finished melting, we are going to add onion, turmeric, ginger, peppercorn and the garlic to saute. And this will be done under medium flame. And the water is getting hot. What we're going to do, we're going to drop some of the celery in. Some of the carrots. Want to get all those flavors off. Going to turn down the flame. Then pour in some of the water. You have to make sure that you are not close. You can turn your flame 
pack up to medium. She's boiling now. And we're going to add the fish. Just a little bit more. See now it's boiling. You can taste it now to see if there is enough salt in it. So you want some more salt, so I'm just going to add it. I'm adding enough. Let us add some sweet pepper now. I'm not sure if you knew that sweet pepper has a very nice flavor. We're not gonna put everything in now, but we're gonna put a little. The cooking time for the fish is 15 minutes. If you realize, I, I took out the lemongrass from out of the liquid and put it on top. I don't want the lemongrass to overpower the taste. Season. You can see that cooking is taking place right here. You can see that it's open. So it is open. Now is the perfect time to add the pepper because you don't want it too spicy and at the same time you don't want it not to have enough spice. When you are adding the crackers to the steam fish, you can decide where you want to put it. If you want it soft, then you can put it in the liquid for 3 minutes or over if you do not want it soft. You can still put it in the liquid, but for a short period, like a minute and a half. Because I love my okras crunchy, I put it in just before I turn the stove off. This is the end product. I have garnished it with lime leaves, tomato rose, and scallion curls. Thank you so much for watching. Join us again on Caribbean Kitchen with Sienna.